Good morning and welcome to my work desk. Uh, I'm hoping to do some of these videos fairly regularly. I want to share some of the tips I've picked up over the years and uh, hopefully help you to enjoy your hobby a little bit more. Um, first off, let's talk about hobby. What is a hobby? Um, the definition of a hobby is an activity that's done regularly in your own leisure time for pleasure. Pleasure. You should be enjoying yourself, okay? If you find yourself swearing at your figures, when you try or sticking your super glue in the figures to your hands, that's not pleasurable, okay? So if that happens, put your figures down, walk away, read a book, watch a program, chill out, come back to it later. If you carry on, you'll just get more frustrated. So today I want to talk about painting. You know, um, war games as a hobby involves two main areas, painting your figures and then gaming with your figures. The important thing for you to enjoy your hobby is to know why are you painting your figures. Are you painting them because that is your hobby? You know, you, you don't want to game with your figures. You want to try and put as much detail into the figures as you can. In which case, you want to be looking around at... There are myriad of painters who are sharing tips and hints online. And um, you can just knock yourself out. Personally, I'm a war gamer, um, and the painting I do is all about getting figures onto the war games table. I think it's interesting how social media and the internet has affected our hobby. Um, before social media came along, before there was an internet, you know, war game was all about the club. Uh, I was fortunate to be a member of a very active um, RAF war games club, and you went down there and, and that was your community. Um, I was fortunate enough to be quite good with the brushes and you know I was one of the better painters in, in that community and I, it, it gave me a boost, I felt good. Um, when I went to university and I carried on, I suddenly realized that actually my painting was okay. Um, I have worked very hard at it and I am, I am back to being good at painting. Um, I'm good at what I do. I'm good at getting armies onto a game, onto a game. But if your enjoyment comes from gaming, sometimes you don't want to spend hours painting figures. When it comes down to it, on a war games table, the figures are just gaming pieces. There, there is no reason why you couldn't play with that. You know, and many people do. You know, it, it, it's a gaming piece. That is for Kings of War. That is a troop of Goblin Riders. Okay? And you are perfectly valid. If you want to play like play with that as your gaming piece, go for it. You know, all I've done is done the base. Um, but if you want to add a bit more visual to your game, um, but you still don't want to spend hours painting each individual figure, you can use simple simple tips that I'm going to share. And you can paint your base. Believe it or not, that from sticking them together, painting them and doing the base took a little over an hour. Okay? It looks good enough for gaming on. For some people, they'd think that's above game, you know, tabletop standard. But it's it's not. It's simple. That is basic colour, a bit of a wash and a dry brush. Okay? These are things that I can show you how to do. There are some people... Um, I'm one of them, uh, who would dream of putting out an army painted to their best standard. Um, it's probably a dream of a lot of gamers out there. Uh, gamers who paint, um, they think, oh, I, I would just love to get an army out painted to my best standard and, and it would be magnificent. Um, it would be. The chances of getting it done, unless you're very disciplined, are very slim. Uh, one of the reasons being that uh, painting is a skill which evolves. Uh, the more you do, the better you'll get. Um, so if you're doing a big army, by the time you get to that last unit in that army, your skills are probably a bit better than the first unit that you did in the army. Um, it's it's a quandary that uh, as painter gamers come, come against all the time. Personally, I'm getting round it by... I have two projects on the go. I am currently, as you can see trying to paint up as much Kings of War as possible. While we're locked down, it's quite good. But also, I have some 
14 millimeter. Let's see if I can get. It's not going to focus on that. Is it going to focus? No. Uh, I've got some 40 millimeter Napoleonic figures. Now these are Perry miniatures, beautiful sculpts, uh, and I I spend hours painting each individual figure. Um, for me, I'm building this up very slowly, and it's going to be a skirmish game for me. Um, but I get my fix of the top end painting, or well, my top end painting, uh, by painting these. And that means I can put, as not as little time, but I can put speed painting to to these figures. And I've since the lockdown, I've painted almost three armies now. I've got a dwarf an army, an ogre army, and pretty much a, a goblin army as well. So it's possible if you if you want to get those armies on the table, and you want them to look good, it's possible. Uh, I'm going to share some of these tips along the way. Hopefully, the videos will be a bit slicker. Um, but I'll try and work out uh, a few tips each week. Uh, first off, for this week, is literally just go away. No, don't go away yet. Wait till I finish the video. Uh, and think about why are you painting and what you get out, what you want to get out of your painting. Uh, if you're painting because you want to get that army on the table. Maybe you're ordering the new um, Age of Sigma Elven army and you want to get it on the table as quick as possible. Um, there are techniques you can use which will get you a good looking army on the table nice and quick. Um, if you do want to put your maximum skill into painting an army, then you've got to be realistic and you've got to be aware that that army is not going to be available to be played with for a fair amount of time uh, so work out what you want from your painting that way you can go into each session that you have and not get frustrated if you're trying to paint an army the best you best you, to the best of your ability you may get an hour or two a weekend painting you know and, and if you're looking at top-end painting that'll be maybe one color on a figure in a couple of hours Whereas if you're wanting to get an army onto the tabletop at a good tabletop standard, you could potentially do the painting on a unit in two or three hours. Um, and then you've got to base it as well, obviously. But uh, that's all for now, and uh, I'll speak to you next time. Bye for now.